Good evening, AI fans, and welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at the end of day two of three days of coverage of Dell Tech World, and it has been quite the show. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my fabulous and favorite Bob, Bob LaLiberté. Bob, how you doing? Doing great. Looking forward to, again, wrapping up the show today. You've been out there in the wild all day. What did you see? Did it's you see daylight? No, I have not seen daylight. <laughs> Seen the inside of the hotel. Looked great. Yeah. A lot of great presentations. <laughs> a lot of great meetings and information. Yes, I am. I am. I'm assuming you learned a lot. I can't wait to read all what you learned. Really excited that we could have a very fun guest to close us out. Someone who's obviously bringing the energy at the end of the day, which is saying something. Ryan Tabra, thank you so much for being here. Did I do that right? Abracadabra. Yes, I did. All right. Yes, Ryan from Intel. Thank you so much for being here with us. How you doing? Doing great. I'm, it's awesome show. Awesome venue. So just excited to be here. It is, it is. Intel's got some really interesting things going on. Intel's inside my Dell laptop right here. Tell me a little bit about what brings you to Dell Tech World. So uh, Dell is launching their 17G platform. So their R series 670 and R770. Um, and it's inside is uh, Intel Xeon 6. And uh, specifically my product, Intel Xeon 6 with eCores. Explain to the crew who may not be as familiar with eCores as a couple of geeks are up here. What does eCore mean? Stands for efficiency. So, uh, in this generation of Xeon, so Xeon Six, we have yeah. Xeon Six for uh, for performance cores and eCores. Uh, workloads today are bifurcating, where you need a lot of performance per thread, and then sometimes you need power density, very efficient compute. And this is just being exacerbated by everything that we're like talking about here at the show, right? It's just right. The, the big word AI is coming in and scaring everyone. And people are just running out of power. To, the data center is becoming kind of the bottleneck of, of being able to innovate um, in your business. Absolutely, yeah. so, what, so what sort of workflows and computations are optimized by eCore? You know, I, I think the first one out of the gate is kind of any kind of distributed workload. So social media, distributed storage, distributed databases, um, media, so media transcode, decode. Um, so we need so, some? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so you're able to um, have the same level of compute with a much smaller power footprint in your data center, leaving space for all that other stuff you need to do. Yeah. yeah. So, quick question for you. I mean, that brings up, there's clearly been a lot of talk this week about there's just not going to be enough power. Like, one of the first things organizations need to do is a power assessment. Look at their data center, how much do they have, what applications are running, which ones do we need, maybe need to take offline if we want to support our AI initiatives. So when you say this is an efficiency core that you're bringing out, can you put that in real terms? What does that mean for an organization if they're able to deploy a significant volume of the e-core processors in their servers, how much savings are they going to get over maybe prior generations or what they're running now? Yeah, I, um, really it's, it's the easy button for companies to be able to just move their infrastructure kind of in, to the future gen and again, save space. One of the uh, details we've been sharing is you can go from a, a second gen Xeon which is a Cascade Lake system, yep. uh, you would have normally maybe 200 racks of them uh, running your web services and other general compute. You now only need 72 racks of Sierra Forest, yeah. and wow. you save a megawatt of power. Wow. That's massive. Yes. Yeah. So how excited are customers when you tell them that? They've been pushing us. They've been pushing us to deliver the product ahead of schedule. They've been pushing us to deliver samples early. So there's this huge pent up demand. And that's why we've been working very closely with Dell uh, on Sierra for us. Yeah, that makes sense. So you brought up a good point. You said bringing it out early. One of the themes, of the underlying themes that I've been hearing at the event is you know, the, the pace of innovation and how it's accelerating. And I'm hearing you know, stories about organizations bringing things out to market and you know, nine months, what would have taken two years, et cetera, things like that. Maybe you can share or shed a little light on the process that you went through for developing this. And yeah. was that on an accelerated time frame? Were you able to bring it to market sooner than anticipated, et cetera? You know, yeah. what, is that, what does that mean for your, you know, the team at home that's working on it and that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. We had, we had a lot of goals of um, first doing a lot of pre-silicon work with software and simulation models. But again, if you want the easy button to happen when people deploy your product, 
you have to understand the workloads, you have to have definitional partners that you work with, so that as you power on your systems internally, you're doing uh, test cycles much earlier than you normally would in a much faster time frame, and then you pass through different engineering milestones in much quicker, but delivering the same high quality that people expect from an Intel system or a Dell system. And uh, this has benefited not only ourselves internally, it's, it's way more fun to hit the left edge of all of your targeted windows of when you're trying to launch, um, but also just as we get closer to launch, customers just want it yesterday, and then you're able to deliver on those early samples. So everyone obviously wants everything from you as fast as possible. Accelerated rate of innovation, we're talking about it the whole time. You're a leader managing a team of engineers who have to be moving really super fast. And also learning and adapting and adopting at a rate far quicker than we've seen in any other technological revolution. How do you keep them pumped up and able to satisfy that craving? Yeah, you know, I think with um, all the amazing people at Intel and across Dell that have made this possible, um, it's, it's really just creating that sense of, a, of team and having a little fun while you do it. You know, uh, the oh God forbid, you yeah, know, yeah. The, 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 the code name for uh, the Xeon 6 for eCore is, is Sierra Forest. And so we have the uh, you know, forestry stickers that we hand out, people have it on their laptops. It's on your uh, lapel today. Yeah, your lapel, but we even say, may the forest be with you. It's, oh. it's kind of fun, yeah, so it's, it's, it's nice. a lot of fun, and you know, it, yeah. and, and, and we just, we want people to have that sense that um, the product is going to deliver, uh, but also that it means something, that, you know, we're, we're making data centers more sustainable. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're allowing people to be able to innovate uh, with, a, with a, a less of a power footprint, and, yeah. you know, and people can decide what they, they do with that, the power savings. Yeah. Absolutely, sustainability is such a big theme here, too. Curious about the Sierra Forest as a code name, how'd y'all come up with that? You know, uh, sometimes it's just happenstance. We pick a, a, a certain geographical location, uh, and then you uh, you go through and you you find, uh, hey, th this uh, doesn't conflict with some other kind of code name you have in the in the company. And uh, the the forest brand brand internally and with our customers resonates because again, it's efficiency core, energy efficient, sustainability, and it, it's it's just kind of fun. It kind of resonates. See the forest through the trees too when you're doing all this strategy. It's, it's very yeah. green. It is, yeah. and, and it's high core count, so you you do you you get yeah, yeah it's very dense. So high throughput. Speaking of core and density, did you happen to bring one of these with you that you'd like to share with the, audit, the viewing I audience? I, I brought our, uh, th this is our 144 core variant. Okay. So this is Sierra Forest SP or Xeon uh, 6 uh, that Dell will be shipping in their R series, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, this is a revolutionary step in kind of delivering dense compute and just kind of the easy button of people to be able to take their existing systems and be able to consolidate their servers. Yeah, makes a ton of sense. One of the things I also wanted to ask you about is when you were talking about the development you brought in Dell quite a bit, was this something that you collaborated with them on or was this something you developed solely by yourselves? No, we did. You know, Dell uh, from day one was very front-footed with us. They saw the potential of this. They had uh, a growing uh, base of customers that were demanding this type of compute. Right. Oh, you can use those for an earring. I know, now, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we'll just mod it. We'll yeah, just stick right. it on my, <laughs> stick it on my Rubik's Cube. So I'll be happy to. Yeah. I'll wear your swag anytime. Um, next time I'll bring two, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they, uh, they wanted to, be, to partner with us, and so they were with us every step of the way, and we worked together with their engineers very closely during Power On, and they gave us great feedback. And uh, yeah, we're, we're excited that um, we're here uh, at this show today, and they're able to take orders, they're able to give samples to customers, and that's, that's really what we want to talk about, is that customers know that it's available, and uh, people want to start kicking the tires on it. Do you have everyone across verticals knocking on your door? We do, we have, uh, you know, of course, our targeted segment was cloud workloads, cloud service providers. Makes uh, sense. That, yeah. that, that was kind of the easy button, but as you bring a product to market, and with the changes that have happened over the past nine to 12 months in data centers, I think that more people are, are looking at it in new and unique ways. So for instance, we, um, we're, we're getting a lot of traction in networking and storage areas and even kind of edge inference social media app type of a applications. Okay. Um, so I, we're excited as, as customers get more units in their hands and testing it out, we're just excited to how they use it. And just, it's, again, it's just the easy button of saving power and TCO. 
You're really making it sound easy. We were, we were talking about making this a drinking game every time you said AI. I, I think every time you said easy button tonight would have been a little more no, damaging so. to our ability I to articulate. I think you're doing good too, I didn't say. No, you're doing so good. Yeah, I know. You don't even, you don't even have to say the acronym. You've done, you've done a really great job. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed. <laughs> I'm super impressed. What can we expect next? You know, I, I, uh, we have our main launch for Xeon 6 coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. Exciting, uh, it's congratulations. Exciting. I think you're going to see a lot more customers talking about it. Uh, I think it's going to be disruptive in the market. Uh, we then also are following up very quickly with our P-Core offering of Xeon 6, which is going to be even more massive and it's going to be uh, also disruptive in the, in, in the hyperscaler market and for HPC and AI workloads. Okay. There, I said it. Uh, and, and then, um, you know, as, as we're going to iterate very quickly, so I think that quickly following uh, this initial launch, we're going to have uh, later in 2025, we're going to have a socket software pin compatible uh, update version of our uh, Xeon 6 for eCore, and customers are just excited. They have, a, they, they have a, an investment in this, and they have a long tailwind to look of just innovation, continuous innovation, just coming to the data center to drive consolidation of workloads. And a roadmap they can depend on. Exactly. From a partner they've trusted for decades. Yeah. yeah. A lovely little, so we, we've been doing things a little different on theCUBE today, which is quite fun. We got Mr. Dell himself to say hello to my mother. So is there anyone that you would like to say hi to your family at home watching, perhaps? Well, I, I, I think uh, Michael Dell is uh, um, very smart in always saying hi, mom, so yes. <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> What do you hope that AI does for your mom? Or makes easier or better? You know, I think um, technology. So it's not just AI. Right, AI, right. AI is a fancy word. It's a tool. I, 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 I do think that it, you know, for uh, everyone's parents as they get older, you want things just to be easier for them and, e and simpler to understand. And it just makes uh, the kind of golden years of their life as special as they deserve because they've given so much, they've, they've given up so much for you, right? Yeah. You know, my mom worked hard. My mom was, you know, like, uh, she, both my parents had to work and she said she remembers falling asleep on the couch, you know, like, so she worked really hard yeah. to enable me to get to where I'm at, right? She's a great grandmother and I would love for her just to like have, you know, be super easy and all the medical problems being just fixed along the way and yeah. yeah. I love it. She must be very proud of you hearing you say that today. Yeah. So. And hopefully it'll be some of those breakthroughs and, and help will be based on the, the server, right? The, the processor technology that you, you've developed. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm excited to be able to say that a majority of these type of workloads that everyone's using, social media apps and stuff, will be the, the backbone foundation of the internet will be running on these products. It'll be fun. Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. What else gets you stoked? All right, outside of uh, making mom's life smooth and seamless and providing easy buttons, and I'm not going to say the two-letter acronym, what else gets you really excited about this technological moment that we're all experiencing? Because it is a little different than some of the other big moments we've had. You know, I think um, some of the engineers I work in with inside Intel and even some of the engineers yeah. I work with across Dell and the people we work with, it's just, it's so fun uh, spending time with them and seeing the culmination of all this hard work come out and be being utilized and it just being successful. So I, I think you know from uh, the folks in, in our fabs uh, pumping out the first Xeon on Intel 3 uh, to uh, the person making sure the samples get out on time, making sure that the software is running, uh, fixing issues last minute. I mean, Everyone's been uh, giving up a lot of family time and extra time, you know, late nights, and, yeah. and it's all culminating to this point. So that, that pumps me up. Well, I love it. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, and, I, and I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot of people watching this out there who have their own massive environment that are highly dense. They're going to be pretty stoked about getting a megawatt of savings from switching over to this new processor and thinking about all the things they can do with that additional power, right, and the difference it'll make to their business. Yeah, 100%. A lot of people happy with that. Hopefully a lot of folks not having to work too many late nights because they're getting time back thanks to the AI enabled, well, and just the tools and the, and, and the workflows enabled by the tech that you're creating. You got to work hard and play hard, you know? Exactly. I, you know, part of it too is video games and, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of gaming companies using these processors to transcode okay. video and um, be able to deliver to more users and stuff, so that, that's also exciting, and which I, I love playing video games with my kids, so. What's your favorite game? Right now it's Valorant. 
It's a Riot game. It's called Valorant, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty fun game with, uh, with my kids. It's a good family moment to play together. Who usually wins? My daughter, who's the youngest. She's uh, but we play together as a team, as a family team. Oh, nice! And so we we uh, we, we make friends online, and it's just a it's a fun family moment that I can do even when I'm not home and I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. So it's it's That's fun. Awesome. Spend time with the kids. Ways to stay connected. I do yeah. think that this technological era that we're in right now, as much as technology can isolate us, just look at this edge device. It can, <laughs> it can also, it can also really bring us together and make us feel less lonely. Loneliness epidemic being such a thing, especially as road warriors. Really nice that you can connect that way. Absolutely. This has been really wonderful. This has been a yeah. fantastic. Thanks for way. having me uh, at yeah. the end of a long day. I know. Hey, it's long. Ryan, you made it feel like you were the first interview of the day. You brought just the energy of Michael Dell that we had earlier today. So don't worry. This was this was equally as exciting. Always nice. Uh, to just, yeah, oh yeah, I was just going to say, how do you feel that you capped off? Michael Dell started it, and you finished out the day. Okay. Bookend. You and Michael. Yeah. All good. And if you want, you can both say hi to my mom. Hey, Robin. We'll say hi to you. Again. Hi, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, thank you so much for spending the time. Bob, what a pleasure. I'm glad you were able to join me for this final closing segment. And thank all of you for tuning in to this plethora of scintillating segments that we have had all day here from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here closing off day two of Dell Tech Week. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.